and another review titled how is this show still on <laughs> now nah, i'm joking uh we uh this is the review for kung fu season three uh title episode title shifu and the uh, the gang is all back nikki may henry althea ryan and evan had to get those names right because we've only been watching this show for three seasons right uh gang's all back and at the events of season two after the earthquake everybody's kind of trying to get it all together um we now see nikki dealing with her her role she's now uh teaching a class at shifu she's a martial arts teacher um show still kind of pedals the line of uh, is magic in the show or have they shown it but they really haven't shown it and it's kind of more so like on the last dragon uh kind of kind of magic kung fu stuff like nothing too ridiculous but we see we see nikki dealing with uh, a, a lot after the events of season two and evan wanting to go i'm sorry um it was nick uh, uh ryan mm, wanting to go on the spirit quest to go, her boy her boyfriend wanted to go on the spirit quest to go find himself and he's been missing um family um of course you know the, the show is still super family oriented um and that's one of the things that i really 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 like about the show is that like i said before um this is a heavily asian cultured featured show like this they, i don't think you're gonna get any show on tv or at least on the cw that hits the topics that this show hits with the kung fu element that's in the background of this or the nighttime vigilante you know the or kung fu batman if you want to call it so let's give you a couple points right just give you you some catch up on what's going on um nikki still like i said just she's become shifu um she's dealing with with the loss of of the person that she was with um and they're trying to figure out what is the next step for everybody because everybody's kind of moving on nikki's found a job she's got an apartment and she's kind of trying to move on from from some certain things um and we have henry uh, her brother who came out, uh, family is now accepting, um, you know, they've moved on. He's now accepting of a, a boyfriend and that, you know, everything like that. It's just com common thing now when the household, um, but the show definitely focuses, like I said, a, a lot on the, on the family element. Um, it was just one of the things I like about the show. Cause while it could be super corny at times, almost all the time with the show, um, it still brings it home and, and it has a really heartfelt feel um when you at the, at the end of each episode after you, you know we kick kung fu we, we kung fu badass uh and you know we come home and everybody's happy we're still dealing with regular family issues even this if this is a asian oriented or chinese oriented uh family show we're still dealing with the same issues that you would deal with with any other family except that you know sometimes you have to save the world or you know beat up your local uh crime lord uh but it's just that's just something that the the, the show uh deals with um the season this episode in particular did brings in the new character Bo. um don't want to give too much away because you know no spoilers here uh but it's just no Bo is gonna he's gonna bring something to the table bring something that uh nikki kind of is missing in the show or she needs in the show because not too many characters in the show can actually stick stay on her level um outside of you know maybe her cousin or <laughs> the, that she winds up defeating and putting in jail in the previous season but like i said i think we needed another another character in the show that was able to keep up with her martial arts wise because it's kind of you know we need somebody that can actually beat her if, if that makes sense um kind of lame when everybody is just like a low level thug and nikki can just beat everybody up kind of oh, it brings me to my next question why is, nobody uses guns in the show or, or at least they do and they just don't shoot her and, and that's one of the things like your suspension of disbelief in this show is what really gets me because like there are some real some moments that during the fights where like she's fighting really slow and i'm like okay one of these bad guys has to pull out a gun at some point right and no it never happened somehow she's able to defeat a group of 10 dudes as as small as she is and we're just supposed to just believe that but that's one of the things i like about the show because like i said it's super corny but i really love it um but like i said this the show's heart is not the the action it's the the dialogue between the families, the interaction between the family, and dealing with those problems, even though they have to deal with 
other issues of, like I said, you know, fighting your local uh, crime lord and saving the world sometimes. Um, the uh, <laughs> This season also is dealing with, like, everybody kind of has somebody except Nikki, and, like, the family is trying to find love for her. <laughs> or they try to find, try, they try to hook her up with somebody, basically, but she's not ready to move on. Um, her heart is still mourning her, her previous uh, boyfriend that she's with, whose house she's now currently sleeping in. Uh, cause that is the, that's where, you know, she moved out and now she's sleeping at her boyfriend's house. Um, and of course, you know, can't get, can't have another season of Kung Fu without the, the, the restaurant, uh, failing once again. Uh, I'm not understanding why this is a consecutive thing. I mean, it's a real thing, but obviously, you know, after the, the earthquake event of, of season two, they are still trying to keep the restaurant afloat. Uh, they are, you know, they, they, they seem to not have enough money and, you know, it's getting to the point where they're eventually going to have to give up the restaurant. And I feel like this is where a lot of the season is probably going to focus on them, uh, you know, trying to keep that together. Cause that's been a focal point of the show, the restaurant. And um, of course, like the meeting place for a lot of the scenes, um, but it's been a focal point of the show, you know, them meeting up as a family, that restaurant has been in their family for a long time. It's something that the mother is really passionate about. And she definitely wants to keep that alive by any means necessary. Um, and like I said, um, as, like I said, it's like the third season in the road. That, you know, something has happened to the to the restaurant. But like I said, I'm hoping that, of course, they'll probably wind up saving at the end of the day. Or this might actually be the season where mom decides to give it up. She can no longer carry this on. It's just not this is not sustainable at this point. Right. Um, can't really say too much about this episode or just kind of the season going forward. Um, but like I said, uh, I love the show. I've loved it for a while. I really love the cast. They, they really get along well. Uh, I, I really love the, the action scenes as, as, as choreo as the, the choreography of the show is slightly bad sometimes as it is the acting, uh, in this, in this, this particular episode of Shifu, uh, is uh, a little, little bad, you know, a little bad sometimes like the, the lines land a little flat for me. Um, especially this is their third season, their junior year. You would think that they would be a little bit more comfortable in the line delivery. Um, but I guess it'll get there as it goes on. Um, and as I joked around about earlier and then in, in, in the, in the review here, how is this still on? Uh, it's third season of the show. This is not one of the shows that I would have like, man, this is definitely get the three third season. Um, but I, you know, I'm happy to get it. I, like I said, I love the cast. I love the chemistry between everybody. I love the the fight scenes as bad as they are, as corny cool as they are, um, and I, I hope this show gets at least two more seasons. I I truly do. Really good episode. Really, really, really good action. Um, introduction back into the third season. Um, like I said, I don't want to give away too much. Like just know that the episode was really worth your time. If you're a fan of kung fu like I am, definitely want to check out season three on the CW. Keep watching it. Keep keep giving it the support it deserves. And they're going to keep making more seasons, I hope. Um, as it, much, like I said, this is not like a, I'm not bad mouthing the show, but I got to let you know what's real, right? I got to let you know that, look, everything on this show is not going to be 100%. Just because it's on the CW doesn't mean it's going to be bad. But I love Nikki and the crew, and I, and I loved everything about this. I love I love Evan. I love Nikki. I love Henry, Althea, and Ryan. All of them are, are great on the show, and mom and dad. Um but yeah, I'm hoping that this season offers more magic or gets into more magic and just does a little bit more with this Kung Fu lore that they've been getting to. Um, and just kind of like the, I want to say Chinese magic side of the show. I'm um, hoping to see more of that this season. Um, just kind of get away from like the daredevil, low crime fighting element of it. Because uh, not to say that it's getting boring, but I, I just want to see Nikki do a little bit more outside of Chinatown. Uh, you know, but I feel like if they figured that out. We we got a good show on our hands. Maybe we can get two more seasons. But episode three, episode uh, episode one, Chifu season three, Kung Fu. Let's go. Let's keep doing it. Let me know what you thought about the uh, the episode in the comments below, and keep watching us for more reviews. See you guys later.